Perhaps I'm more brilliant than I even supposed. <laughs> Sailors tell tales of monsters far out to sea, but I'll tell you, there's strange things in this river no one talks about. Lights in the water, late at night. I've seen faces, too. Attention Dunwall citizens, you are reminded that assaulting a member of the City Watch has been made a capital offense, and guardsmen are authorized to carry out this sentence on the spot. The offender's possessions are legally reported. You did it. 
Somehow you took down the High Overseer Campbell against the odds. I knew you were our man, Cornwall. With Campbell gone, we've hurt the Lord Regent immeasurably. And with Martin back, we'll have the finest strategist alive. The Lord Regent must be shitting himself in Dunwall Tower. Yes, and Campbell's journal, let's not forget. Our hope is that in these encoded pages, the location and condition of Emily Caldwin can be discovered. Our entire movement will mean nothing if we can't place the rightful heir on the throne. We must act fast. No doubt the Lord Regent is holding Emily somewhere, waiting to reveal her, to step out as the hero and further cement his regency. If he doesn't bring the young lady forth soon, there will be infighting among the nobles as to who should succeed the Empress. Yes, time is against us. But now you should take a well-earned rest, Corvo. We will decipher the contents of the High Overseer's journal and share them with you later. citizen's duty to report treasonous speech and actions. The state depends on you. Ah. Hello, Corvo. Cursed weepers, roaming all over the city. Hello, Corvo. I expect Martin will be joining us shortly. I hate to start your day with such a strange matter, but... The servants heard something last night, moving through the storm drains beneath the building. Most likely a weeper, the poor bastard. There's no hope for them once the plague gets that far along. Nothing more than a shuffling corpse full of sickness and insects, if you ask me. I'd appreciate you investigating, just to be sure it's not a nosy guardsman that's getting too close. Here's a key to the hatches. I'd send a servant down there, but they'd die of fear on the spot, I'm afraid. Maybe Piero can concoct some sort of sleep poison for your crossbow if you want to go that route.
down there in the sewers? I thought I heard a weeper in there earlier. You're probably the bravest man I've ever met. Overseer Martin has arrived. He's with Admiral Havelock now. They want to talk to you. I know the Golden Cat, not as a patron, mind you. I designed some specialized devices for them. I kept the blueprints. If anyone is curious. Don't. I brought you tea as a courtesy to the colleague. Corvo, I trust you remember Martin, an overseer before and perhaps again someday soon. I owe you thanks for my rescue. Indeed, you've given us a glimmer of hope, Corvo. Because we've gotten what we wanted from Campbell's journey. You've done it. We know where Emily Caldwood is being held. The Golden Cat, of all places. A bathhouse for aristocrats. Little better than a cursed brothel. But there's an unfortunate twist. It appears that Pendleton's own kinsmen stand in our way. The twins, Morgan and Custis. Not only are they controlling Emily, but they have the controlling parliamentary votes we so desperately need. Yes, the Pendletons have to die. But most importantly, Emily must be brought here safely so we can protect her until the Lord Regent and his entourage have been dealt with. Pendleton's waiting for you on the dock. He's asked to brief you personally. I think it's best. Corvo, a moment if I may. Corvo, I've asked to speak to you myself. You see, I'm sending you to kill my older brothers, Morgan and Custis. They're horrible men. It's true, as you may have heard, cruel beyond words. Further, my brothers are close allies to the Lord Regent, and as long as they are in Parliament, we cannot gather the votes we'll need to stop the Lord Regent from further consolidating his power. These days, they're best known for exploiting their favor with him to cheat others out of their wealth. Let's just say that not every family evicted in quarantine for having the plague actually has the plague. I warned my brothers in every way I could. I really did. But they never did listen to me. They'll be at the Golden Cat tonight at their usual revels. They'll be protected by the City Watch, so it'll be dangerous. Now go. Please do it before I change my mind. Campbell's book appears to contain much more than we expected. He was blackmailing a number of highly ranked overseers. Corvo, my friend. Do you need ammunition or weaponry? Would you like me to craft something for you? Thank you. 
Horvo, my friend. Do you need ammunition or weaponry? Would you like me to craft something for you? Take you to the Golden Cat when you're ready. I've taken Lord Pendleton enough times, believe me. you as close as I can to the Golden Cat, Corvo. You'll have to go the rest of the way on your own. The entrance is near Holger Square. The main thing is to make sure that little girl, Emily, gets back all safe and sure. Them two Pendletons are there, so I'm guessing there'll be a lot of guards. Slackjaw might have some ideas on how to get inside the cat, if he don't kill you. This here's his territory. He and his Bottle Street gang hole up at the old Dunwall Whiskey Factory. They sell the elixir that folks use to fight off the play. I'll lay low, but keep an eye out for you and the little lady you bring him back. Good luck to you. I know Emily must mean a lot to you. Be careful going up the street, Corvo. A river hand I know pulled up alongside me last night and said there's one of those watchtowers on Clavering now. You getting rid of Campbell shook up the Lord Regent.
Attention, Dunwall citizens. Anyone with information pertaining to the death of High Overseer Thaddeus Campbell. Hey, you're just the man I was looking for. Slackjaw's wanting to talk to you. That him? Yeah, he's the one. Hey, we got a message for you from Slackjaw. He wants to talk at the distillery. Dunwall citizens, 
Anyone with information pertaining to the death of High Overseer Thaddeus Campbell is to report to the City Watch for Anything immediate. in your pocket for a poor working man? In this time oh, of pal. spiritual crisis, the Overseers have initiated the Feast of Painted Kettles until a new High Overseer is chosen. May the High Overseer's spirit fade and merge with the cosmos. Hey! You're just the man I was looking for. Slackjaw's wanting to talk to you. That him? Yeah, he's the one. Hey, we got a message for you from Slackjaw. Go on. Slackjaw's inside. I'll be waiting for you. Easy, easy. You just need a bit. Ain't you heard? Slackjaw keeps the good stuff for himself. Rest of us get one part elixir, three parts water. Oh, that's just to make the swallow. Well, I ain't taking no chances on getting it. My men were right. You do look like a man out for murder. <coughs> the way I figure it, there ain't nobody worth killing around here except those two Pendletons over at the Golden Cant. I'm right, ain't I? See, slack your nose. Them boys are twins. Rich, mean, and weird. Worse than most of their ilk. They've been laying low there a while, not sure why. There's a lot of security at the Golden Cat tonight, though. Special guests and the like. But you're gonna walk in there dressed like that and kill the Pendleton brothers? Maybe I got a better way to take care of them, too. If you're doing something for me first, understand? Someone, I don't know who, is killing my men, taking my territory, stealing my goods. Might be a fellow name of Galfani. I sent my best man to investigate, but he went missing and... Well, now I need someone to find what happened to him. Go to this Galvani's place. He lives nearby off Clavering Boulevard. You do that for me and I'll get your better way into the Golden Cat. <clears throat> Hey, you in the mask. 
You look like a clown. Are you supposed to be scary? <laughs> Come sit on my lap, tough guy. supposed to be scary. What a mess, huh? Whole town's gone to trash. Look out for the watch. They got no respect for law. What was that? Hungry? Well, don't eat river crust. It'll make you sick as a bucket. Attention Dunwall citizens, due to criminal activity near Holger Square, the area is now under lockdown. Watchtowers and support patrols have been deployed. Any suspicious person will be assumed hostile with malicious intent. I'll flush you out. Under everything. I gotta stop chewing hair. I'll find you, you pair. So this is art. Awful lousy way to make coin. Poor bastard. Stuff can't be worth nothing, can they? Not a chance. I think I remember I haven't seen this painting at my grandmother's place. No, the Duchess. Yeah. Here you are.
such a strong door unless they kept some interesting things on its other side. I'm telling you, it won't budge. Not even a bit. And I think I bruised out my shoulder. Stop your crying and give another shove. Just imagine what could be behind it. That'll get you through the pain. If you're so sure, then you shove it. Must have been rats. What do we have here? Smoke or eat? Blow off, Chaffer.
Dunwall citizen. Anyone with information? Hey, you're just the man I was looking for. Slackjaw's wanting to talk. That him? <laughs> 